ella va a vender una, yo una en el 2017 una roja que plateada. También es, es bonita, o sí, sea, yo. la niña. Okay, everybody, it's time to start our class. Good evening. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening, everybody. Let's see. Damari, Abel, Christopher, and Abigail, welcome to the class. How are you today? Good, fine, sleepy, cold. I'm great. Okay, the Mari is great. What about you, Abel? Cold. Good, okay. Christopher, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. But uh, I don't know if I can be only a listener for the moment because I'm driving to my house. Okay, of course. You can, uh, you can be uh, as a listener today. Okay, don't worry. Thank you for Thank you. letting me. Thank you for letting me know. Um, Abigail, how are you today? Good teacher. Good, that's nice. And Adelina, how are you today? Good teacher. Okay, fine. Um, guys, I thank you for being here on time. I know this is a different day because it's Friday, and uh, uh, it we. It's not usual that we have classes on Friday, but this time we had two because we didn't have classes on Monday. So I hope everybody, you all come ready to our class. And of course, everybody, we can all practice together. Tell me guys, are you ready to practice today? Yes or yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, very good, okay, okay. Very good. Okay, right now, everybody, we are going to start with our class. Let me share my screen with you. Let me see. Okay, let me share my screen with you, everybody, and then we can start. Okay. And this opportunity, guys, we start a new unit, and of and of course, everybody, we start with a new topic. Before we start with this topic, everybody, let me ask you: What are some advantages of living in the city? What do you think are good things of living in the city? What are the advantages? We will start, everybody. Maybe. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Maybe in this opportunity, we can listen to Abigail first. Okay, Abigail, tell me, in your opinion, what are some advantages of living in the city? Uh, I consider um, we can find a lot of place in the city, um, the hospital, uh, the hall, um, different, uh, ah, find a lot of, a lot of place. <laughs> and also the, the streets are in the, uh, how do you say, buen estado? In good Omaha condition? Terrible. They are in good condition? They are uh, the street. The streets are in good condition, um, uh, 
only that teacher. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing, Abigail. Those are great points, okay? If we can find a lot of places, as Abigail said, so the hospital, and it is something important, guys, that in the city you can find um, also important places uh, that you need, okay? For example, the hospital, restaurants, the supermarket. So those places are really close to our houses, okay? And the other thing is that uh, the streets are in a good condition, of course. So thank you, Abigail, for sharing. Now let's continue with Abel. What do you think, Abel? What are some advantages of living in the city? Um, either the city has more favorable opportunities, and because there are uh, many uh, places we we can work. Where, where we can work and um, maybe we can find a lot of modern uh, modern things and, and for example cell phones we can get it from easily uh, and that's I can say okay those are those those are more great things about the city as you mentioned okay something important uh well some important things about the city that a uh, well i consider that one of the most important things is that you have the opportunity to find more job opportunities as you as you said okay so that's another great thing uh, from the city what about you damari what do you think what are some, some advantages of living in the city Okay, teacher. My opinion is that in the city we find the best places for our live, such as hospitals, schools, supermarkets, and it's a very opportunity to live. Okay, there is a better opportunity of life or a better opportunity to live. Uh, yes, actually, the conditions that you have in the city are a little bit better. Well in, well, in some cases, it's better than the countryside. But in general, I could say that it's kind of better, okay? Um, if we are talking about health, if we are talking about uh, job opportunities, as we said, uh, convenient places and convenient uh, things, so all those things are really important, guys, at the moment of talking about this, um, the advantages in the city. What do you think, Adelina? What are some advantages to live in the city? Uh, maybe better access to public transportation. Um, more job opportunities and i don't know maybe um a higher cost of living okay but uh, i mean is the high cost of living an advantage or disadvantage oh in advance I, I think, I don't know. You think that this is something good or bad? The high cost of life, of living, I mean? Uh, depends. Depends the people live here. Okay. Well, that's something, that, that's another great point. I really like what you mentioned at the beginning. That is the access to public transportation. As you know, everybody in the countryside is not very common to have public transportation as we have in the city. Um, so that's why I consider that this is something very important. Apart from the other um, advantages, that one is, I consider it's uh, um, very important. It's really important. Now, let's see. Well, everybody, let's pay attention to Larissa. What do you think, Larissa? 
what are some advantages of living in the city? Uh, and the banks is um, more access for the work and the hospital and supermarket. Okay, as we already mentioned, uh, the access to public, uh, to well, in this case, to job opportunities. And uh, another important thing, guys, is that the city is very convenient or Places in the city are convenient. So it's easy to get to those places. You just need, well, if you have a car, so you just need like 10 or 15 minutes to get to some of those places. And uh, well, in, in, in the case of uh, the supermarket also, or uh, the hospital, it's easy to get there. Very good. And well, I want to hear Mitzi. Tell me Mitzi, what are some advantages of living in the city? Okay, teacher. The um, advantage is it's a uh, more connectivity with the supermarket or accessibility to hospitals, um, clinics, and more things. Okay, great, Mitzi. I really like the point that you said about connectivity. Yes, guys, connectivity or the, we could say this, the phone signal is better in the city. Well, there are some places which is in which the internet or the signal is not good, but uh, I consider that it's better, the, well, the signal or the connectivity is better in the city than in the countryside. Um, that's why everybody, so most, most of the people in the city have a uh, internet and, uh, um, well, all the other important point was, uh, what most of you said, and is that, um, most of the places in the city are convenient. So they are very close and it won't take you more than a, uh, more than one or two hours to get to one place. Okay. Uh, sadly, guys, here in El Salvador, even though things are really close, there is too much traffic. Okay, that's the thing. Okay, but apart from that, things are really close to our house. All the important things we mentioned, everybody, are the uh, difference between oppor uh, about opportunities between the city and the countryside. In the countryside, most of the things are uh, sadly more. Most of the things are difficult to get. For example, health is not the same in a in the countryside or or in the in the city. It's different. The service, I mean, um, job opportunities are not equal. You know that in the city you have, well, you have a lot of opportunities, uh, even though it's kind of difficult to apply for them, but we have a lot of opportunities and a better payment. At least in the city, uh, we have um, the minimum salary, I, I could say in some places, and some other places uh, pay better. They, they have a, a better paid, a better payment. And uh, in, in the countryside, it's kind of difficult because, uh, well, most of the jobs that uh, you can find over there are occupations, not professions, but occupations. Even though it's also another good way to uh, to earn money, I mean. And the last thing, everybody, and um, in in this case, guys, I consider unfair, is that the education or the uh, education opportunities are not the same in one place or like in the city and in the countryside, guys. As you can see today, we are trying to identify some of the good things of the city and the countryside because this unit, guys, is focused on that. The objective of, uh, of this unit, everybody, 
is to identify problems that we can find in the city and in the countryside and also good things. But uh, to reach this goal, everybody, we will start using the expressions of quantity, okay? In this opportunity, we will start everybody learning about expressions of quantity. So let's move on everybody. To start, I wanna hear Larissa, okay Larissa, can you read this part, this slide? There's too much crime in this neighborhood. And also the information in brown. Uh, uh, expression of one the a word or group of words that tells the amount of something. There's too much crime in this neighborhood. Okay, very good, so much better. As you can see here, everybody, we have expressions of quantity. When we are talking about the expressions of quantity, we are trying to express the amount or the quantity of something. As you know, everybody, there are some things that are countable and uncountable. If we are, if we talk about nouns, there are countable nouns and uncountable nouns. In this part, everybody, when we use the expressions of quantity, we need to use many nouns, okay? There are many nouns we need to use. For example, everybody, look at the example. There is too much crime, crime in this context, everybody, is a noun, crime. Now my question is, can we count the crime? Yes or no, what do you think? No. no, it's not possible to count crime. Maybe we can count criminals. We can count criminals, or it is supposed that we can. Okay, also guys, we can count um, how many thieves are, are there in one day. Maybe we can count uh, how many deaths are there uh, or there are in a day. We can count all those things, but crime in general is uncountable. That's why everybody, we use the first expressions of quantity and it is too much. Too much everybody is an expression of quantity. We use this expression, let me think, on Tuesday, we learn about this, this expression. Even though everybody, we use it to refer to evaluation and comparison. But remember guys, the use of two, it's most of the time um, with a negative meaning, okay? It most of the time has a negative meaning. We will continue learning some other expressions, everybody, that uh, will help us a lot to understand and learn more about this. Let's move on. First of all, guys, remember that we have the use of too much and too many. Can you help me reading this part, Abel? Yeah, expressions of quantity. Too much slash too many. They express a nexus. Examples are, there's too much pollution. There are too many cars in the city. Okay, thank you for reading. As you can see here, everybody, we refer to the excess of something. So it's more than the quantity we need. Okay, look at this. Or the quantity that is possible to have. For example, there is too much pollution. Pollution, everybody, is uncountable, you know. So we have, everybody, more pollution 
than the quantity, the quantity that is possible. Okay, so that's why we use this expression. We refer to an excess. Next example. There are too many cars in the city. And this is some a real life example, everybody. In the city, um, I could say that there are more cars than people. Okay, and it means that there is an excess of something. What is the excess? Uh, this sentence show it's about cars. So there are too many cars in the city. As you can see, okay, um, we use these expressions too much and too many to refer to an excess of something. Let's move on everybody to the next expressions. These are kind of easy guys because we already use them when we talk about evaluation and comparison. That's why everybody, this is kind of a review, okay? Let's move to our next expressions. Enough or not enough. Beatriz Mixco, can you help me reading this information? Okay, teacher. Uh, they express that something is or isn't sufficient. And that uh, we have enough clothes to share with homeless pe people. And there aren't enough bu buses in this, in this city. Nice, yeah. Thank you, Beatrice. As you see here, we have the, okay, we have two points, two points to contrast ideas. The first idea, guys, is enough. The first sentence, it's about enough. It means, everybody, sufficient, okay? Sufficient of something. Look at the example. We have enough clothes to share with homeless people. This is another example, guys, that uh, let me explain to you, okay? Um, in this case, everybody, maybe we have a lot of clothes at home. And some of these clothes, everybody, um, are some that we are not using anymore. In this case, we can say, everybody, that we have enough clothes to share with homeless people. All people that is on this, in the streets, everybody, they need clothes. They need food. And the way we can help them is by sharing what we have. If you have enough clothes, you can share with them, okay? If we have enough, so we have a sufficient clothes to wear and also to share with other people. Then everybody, the other on the other side, we have not enough. It means everybody that there aren't sufficient uh, there or there isn't a sufficient quantity of something okay let's move to the example everybody check that it says there aren't enough buses in this city okay even though we have buses because there are buses they are not in, they, they are not enough everybody for the city or for the passengers Okay, that's why this is kind of easy because we already learned about these, ex these expressions, enough or not enough. Remember that a synonym of this is sufficient or not sufficient. Let's move everybody to the next part. The next expression, everybody, I guess this is more common for us. Please let me see. Adelina, can you help me read in this? Okay, uh, more, it's referred to a greater or additional uh, amount of something. We need more security in the neighborhood. We have to do more uh, dining campaigns in the city. Very good, more cleaning campaigns in the city. Great job. 
Okay. Okay. In in this part, everybody, as you can see, there is a uh, negative form because we refer to more. It means everybody, in simple words, an additional amount of something or a greater quantity of something. In this case, we have the first example. If you live in a, in a dangerous neighborhood or a little bit dangerous, you know that we need more security in the neighborhood, okay? We need more security because there, there is crime in our neighborhood, okay? So we need an additional amount of, in this case, security. Or the next example, everybody, we have to do more cleaning campaigns in the city. Are there cleaning campaigns? Maybe, okay, maybe we have, okay? It's possible that we have, but it's not enough because we can see that there is a, there is a still a garbage on the streets, okay? It is because of, well, it is not, it is not because of the cleaning campaigns. That's not the reason why there is garbage on the streets. It's because people uh, don't care about nature and, and environment and they uh, throw garbage on the streets. And well, cleaning campaigns are a way to, um, to change that thing. But the cleaning campaigns that we have in present are not enough. It means that we have to do more, a greater amount or a greater quantity of cleaning campaigns. Okay, these are uh, some of the expressions that we have for today. Also, guys, let me share with you the last two expressions. In this uh, part, as you see, we have the use of fewer and less. Um, Adelina, can you help me reading? Uh, fewer? a small number of people or thing. Um, less, a smaller amount or quantity of something. Example, uh, there should be fewer straw dough in the street and there should be less crime. Thank you. As you can see in the first example, guys, we have the stray dogs. The stray dogs, everybody, are all the dogs that lives in the streets. And, well, in the second example, you know, we have crime. There should be less crime. Before we continue, guys, tell me, what do you think is the difference between fewer and less? They have the same meaning, but a different use. What do you think is the difference? A fever is uh, for a countable and less is used for a uncountable. Okay, you are right. Fewer is used for, um, for countable. In this case, we have stray dogs. Okay, stray dogs. Okay, so we use fewer, everybody, for countable. And less, it's commonly used for uncountable, but it's also possible to use a countable, everybody. Less, it's for both, countable and uncountable now. Just in case, everybody, you want to change your vocabulary or you want to uh, use a different vocabulary, so it's great that you use fewer, okay? But in case you feel, com you feel great using less with comfortable and uncomfortable, guys, it's fine, but remember, fewer for a countable, less for uncountable. Now, as you see, we use this, everybody, to, to talk about a smaller quantity or a small number, okay? I could say, everybody, that more, it's the opposite than that, uh, is the opposite of fewer and less, okay? 
These are some, everybody, of the expressions of quantity we will learn how to use. And we had some examples, everybody, to refer to these expressions. Before we continue and practice, everybody, look to this, um, to this picture. We have a glass of water that says enough, the right amount. Then we have the second glass of water and it says not enough. It means we need more. And the last one everybody says too much, more than we need. As you see guys, the glass, the third glass is full of water and it spilled water. Um, uh, well, it spilled water, guys, as you see over there. Now, these are everybody, or this is a, a short explanation and an easy explanation of these three words, enough, not enough, and too much. If you say the enough everybody, or if we use enough, it means that we have the right amount. It's sufficient, as you remember. If uh, we use not enough everybody, it means that we need more, more, uh, more security. We need more clothes. We need more cleaning campaigns. So it's not enough. What we have now, it's not enough. We need more. And the last one, everybody, is the use of too much. Remember that it refers to an excess, an excess of something, an excess of cars, an excess of garbage, an excess of pollution, so an excess. So more than we need or more than we could have, okay? This is a short explanation of this, everybody. I don't know if you have any question about uh, these expressions. Do you have any questions, guys, or it's ev is everything clear? In the case of not enough, it's possible to add. Yes, Abel? Can you hear? Yes, I can hear you now. Can you repeat again? Um, can it's possible to use uh, the word less, the word less in a phrase, uh, in the case of not enough water? For example? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, just adult, I mean, if it's possible, but I, I don't have an example. Okay, let me tell you that, uh, well, I will take into account the example I said, okay? We, um, we don't have enough, I don't remember if this was the example. Oh no, uh, we don't, the, um, let's see, yeah, I remember. The example was, there isn't enough buses, enough buses in the in this city. In this city. Okay. Pretty good. So the example I, I gave you was there isn't enough. Oh I, I wrote I wrote enough twice. Enough buses in this city. Um in this case I could say that uh, if we want to write this sentence in different words, we could say that, for example, we need more, okay? We need more buses in the city because there aren't enough, okay? So there aren't enough buses. I'm sorry, guys, I, I got confused over here. There aren't enough buses in this city. So we identify the problem. The problem is that there aren't enough buses in the city. Then what is the solution? We need more buses in the city. It's the same problem, but now you identify a solution that if we had more buses, so everything would be different. 
Okay, Avel. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I mean, if, if we use less, maybe the idea will be the opposite, right? Not, not, it won't be something good. I mean, it would be something something negative, okay? We will continue right now, everybody, and let's try to practice using these expressions. Let me see, everybody. Okay. Okay, give me a second. There you go. Okay, everybody, let me show you right now some sentences and we will have to practice right now the use of, oops, the use of too much, too many, and enough. It could be enough in affirmative or in negative, okay? Just please pay attention to the exercise. Remember the use of too much, too many, and enough. Okay, let's start with the first example. Is there any bread in the house? Oh yes, there is. What could be the right answer? Too much, too many, enough. or enough bread? What do you think? Enough. Enough. Enough, enough. bread. Okay, enough bread. Let's continue with number two. Okay, in this opportunity, guys, we will have an opportunity to uh, answer one example. Damari, tell me example number two, please. Uh, too many? Okay, let's see. Very good. Can you help me reading uh, the complete sentence? Okay. My top feels sick because he smoked. Too many cigarettes a day. He needs to quit smoking. Very good. He needs to quit. He needs to quit smoking. And that's right. Too many cigarettes. Okay. Thank you, Damari. Let's continue and pay attention to Beatrice. Help me, Beatrice. Example three. Eating and. Too much chocolate is unhealthy. Hearing too much chocolate is unhealthy. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Thank you, mm -hmm. Beatrice. Let's continue with Abel. Abel, help me out with example four. Do you want to go to the? Do you want to go to the cinema with me? Sorry, I don't have enough time. Excellent. I don't have enough time. Amazing. Okay. Thank you. We will continue with example five. This one is going to be for Mitzi. Mitzi, can you help me with example five? Hello, Mitzi. Okay, we will continue with another person. Right now, Larissa, can you help me with example five? Okay, let's see. Adelina, help me with uh, the next sentence. Uh, there are uh, too many commercials during my favorite TV programs. It makes me it makes me angry. Very good. It makes me angry. That's that's right. Uh, well, let's continue our next sentence. Uh, Christopher, can you help me with example six? Yes, of course. Um, you think too much about money. 
you shouldn't do that. Okay, of course, that's correct. You, sh you think too much about money. Okay, well done. Let's see. Right now, guys, in general, let's answer example seven. I think she eats... Too much. Too much. Of course, that's right. Too much fast food. She'll be sick and fat. Nice job. Let's continue, everybody. In this moment, uh, pay attention to Abigail. She will help us with example eight. You used uh, enough sugar in your coffee? It, uh, no, pero... Sí, sí. Ah, este, you use uh, too much sugar in your coffee. It is unhealthy for you. Okay, much better, Abigail. Okay, great correction. You use too much, okay, is uh, is talking about an excess, okay. If it re if it refers to something healthy, we could say that it's enough, okay. But since it is not healthy, we use too much because it's talking about an excess. Very good, Abigail. Thank you. Let's continue. Please help me out with the next the next example, Damari. Example nine. Oops. My grandfather is old. He now to stop working. Very good. My grandfather is old enough. Okay. This is everybody. Well, thank you, um, Damari. That example was correct. The structure, as you see, guys, is different because we are not using the nouns in this case we are using an adjective so my grandfather is old and he is old enough to stop working we use everybody the same structure we use when we make evaluations everybody evaluations about things okay that's why we use verb to be old an adjective and then we use enough. That's why we have a different structure. But thank you, Damaris, your example was right. Let's move to the next example, please, Beatrice. Example is a 10, I'm sorry, 10. I didn't get to I didn't get enough uh, I didn't get enough sun this spring. I should go I should go outside more often. Well done. I didn't get enough sun. Okay, so uh -huh. I, I I don't look that uh, sunbathe. Okay, very good. Eleven. Let's continue with. Thank you, Patrice. Let's continue with Adelina. Example eleven, please. Okay. Uh, did you buy enough uh, toilet paper? Yes, I bought uh, seventeen rolls. Sixty. 60, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. 60? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, say 60 rolls. 60 sorry. rolls. That's right. Okay, don't worry. Okay, we are over here because we are learning. So that was nice. And it's correct. Did you buy enough? I think that 60 rolls is enough. Okay, well done. Thank you. Let's move to our example 12. Christopher, what is the correct sentence? Okay, um, there are too many people in this supermarket. I don't like shopping here. Okay, there are too many people 
Great. If you don't like people, this example is for you. So thank you, Christopher. Let's move to our next example. 13, Abel. Um, do you like this hotel? hotel? Yes, but it costs too much money. Too much money. Amazing. Well done. Okay, so uh, there are uh, there are six more examples, everybody. And again, we are going to participate all together. So let's see. Please tell me what is example 14. I have homework for tomorrow. I want to have time to go play outside. What is the correct expression? Too much. Too much homework. Okay, well done. Thank you. Next sentence. It will be for Avil. Okay, Avil, 15. Um. My dad watches much football on TV, never eats dinner with us. Okay, too much football on TV. Well done. Thank you, Bill. Let's continue with Damari. Damari, example 16. Okay, teacher, I don't have too much money to buy the new PEs for the game. Yes, okay, well done. That's a great example. Abigail, example 17, please. Let's build a snowman. snowman. Uh, we can't, there, there isn't uh, too much snow. There isn't oh. too much snow. Okay, it's possible. Thank you. Let's continue with Adelina. Adelina, example 18. Uh, too much sun isn't good for you. You should wear a uh, hat to protect yourself. Well done. That was a great example. Uh, Christopher, 19. Sure. Yes, Christopher? Okay, I have a question. And example 17, we can use enough to do right i think both are possible yes that's Too much right or enough yes that's right i consider uh well i wanted to check to check a uh, later but i will do it right now i consider the um it's more common to use enough because it's a negative example okay too much it's more common to uh, remember it's more common to uh, express an excess Okay, so we are not talking about the excess of snow. We are talking about the right quantity we need to build a snowman. So, Great. enough. Okay, thank you, thank Christopher. You. And now, help me with 19. Okay, uh, I don't think it's going to be a sunny day. There are too many clouds in the sky. Too many clouds. Well done. And we will finish this exercise with Beatrice. Okay, Beatrice, can you help me with example 20? And there is too much notes in, the, in this classroom. I can't hear what the teacher is saying. Great, there is too much noise. Okay, too much noise in this classroom. Too well much. done. Oh okay, everybody, that was a great job. All of you did an amazing effort. So let's check together our answers. Okay, all the answers are correct, everybody. I really congratulate you because um, as you can see, we did an amazing job. So guys, I invite you to continue practicing these expressions on the speak platform. Remember, it is important, guys, that we come to the class uh, and practice, but also, guys, go to the uh, Speak platform and complete the activities over there. Um, I want to remind you guys that on Monday, we need to have at least 
a 25% of the activities completed. Okay, I will switch to Spanish, guys. Eh, la indicación que les daba, guys, es acerca de lo que compartieron en el grupo de WhatsApp. Como ya saben, guys, el, para el día lunes tenemos que completar el 25% de actividades de la plataforma. Eso significa, guys, que para el lunes a las 8 de la mañana, Insaforb va a estar revisando que tengamos completo ese, pues esas actividades, el 25%, right? El 25%. Así que, guys, eh, invitarlos a eso, a que, a que trabajen en la plataforma. Espero que todos eh, los que estamos acá ya hayamos iniciado con las actividades de la plataforma porque sé si algunas personas que no han iniciado, no han ingresado a la plataforma. Eh, espero ustedes sí ya lo hayan hecho y que ya hayan avanzado bastante en las actividades. Si ya llegaron a la última actividad que yo les delegué el día de ayer, súper, si ya pasaron de esa actividad, pues todavía mejor. ¿Ok? Recuerden, esta clase es un apoyo para que ustedes puedan... Eh, completar las actividades de la plataforma y sobre todo puedan practicar su inglés. Así que, guys, eh, in this opportunity, I invite you to work on the following activities. Um, uh, remember, today we are starting unit two and we will continue this unit on Monday. So please, guys, start working on the activity 2.0 Uh, continue with the, the vocabulary, the grammar, uh, and practice and grammar. And for uh, on Monday, everybody, you need to finish on activity 2.2.5. Okay, please work in all these activities. And then everybody, uh, you won't have any problem uh, when Insafarb check. Okay, do you have any question about this class, about the platform, or about the The homework? Questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. If there are no questions, guys, I really appreciate that you came to our class. As I said before, guys, this is a um, different day because it's, it's Friday and we are not used to have classes on Friday. But uh, remember, next week we have classes from Monday to Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Okay? Thank you for coming to this class, everybody. Have a good night and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye.